when I think about getting ahead and the, the next generation of talented young men and women, I'm reminded of a 10-year-old girl that I met when I visited Pakistan last year. Her name was Arthur Karim. Arthur was introduced to me while I was there because age, age 10, she had just completed her Microsoft certification exam in Windows programming in c and .NET. I think you'll agree, a pretty amazing thing. So let's hear a little bit more about Arthur's story. The most, uh, the biggest problem that I have seen in Pakistan is the problem of literacy. Uh, you know, many people are uh, almost, almost 75 percent of the people are illiterate. They only, they don't even know how to write, how to write their name in English. And uh, it is uh, a big shame uh, for uh, Pakistan and uh, that is what uh, I will be working on. The definition of illiterate will be changing. The person who knows how to operate the computer will be illiterate. And uh, then uh, that is uh, why I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be working uh, to provide computer education as well to uh, the uh, underserved people. She's very helpful and she, I, I've always seen her sitting with her, uh, some weaker student and helping her out uh, in her work. So probably this is the reason because she never goes that I know everything. We are very much proud of Arfa, not only me, my family, relatives, brothers, sisters, our two fellows and uh, I think so all over the Pakistan they are pr proud of Arfa and uh, because they love her and uh, they want to see her in uh, at the top in her field. She is very humble and uh, the teachers are very happy and they, they, they all support her, help her out in other subjects obviously. In IT, I think we are not able to help her because she is already uh, they're going to start where we haven't reached as yet. I like to see her to make a Silicon Valley within Pakistan and be the leader, be leading from the front side uh, in, in the construction of the Silicon Valley within Pakistan and working for the betterment of the IT future in Pakistan as far as software and the hardware both are concerned. She must go for something like that, something, a huge goal in her life that she make a Microsoft organization within Pakistan and she be the CEO of that organization. First, I would, I want to uh, go into an organization, I want to work with an organization uh, for experience and then I want to open my own uh, organization, I want to start my own company. I would go abroad for studies and for uh, seminars but eventually I will come back to Pakistan and serve uh, my country. Well, Arthur is now 11 years old and in this last year she's added a second certification, this time in ASP.NET. And I'm very, very pleased and excited to say that Arthur and her father have flown from Pakistan to be here at TechEd this week to, to both attend and also to come and join me on stage this morning. So Arthur, please come and join us. Okay, well I think it was almost exactly a year ago, wasn't it, yes. that I was uh, in Lahore when, yes. I, when I met you. And I remember I talked about Pekka then, yes. do you remember? Yes. Did you think it would be like this? I didn't think it would be that big an event. <laughs> and, uh, I'm really enjoying it here. Okay. Okay, great. So, um, tell me, why, um, what inspired you to learn C Sharp? Actually, um, I, when I went into software, I wasn't, I didn't know what software or hardware was or what was C-sharp actually. I, when I was taken to an institute by my father, 
uh, they decided for me that I should go into software and uh, Microsoft was the biggest company in software so they decided to distract me and the look of C-sharp, it looks advanced. <laughs> it's the same as real basic, but it looks advanced to me. So okay, like well there's it. probably only about 2,000 DB programmers out there who, yeah. uh, who will, have a <laughs> who, who will have a word with you afterwards. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, you, just before you came over here, you created a little application in C-sharp. Yes. Can, you, can we get it up here? Okay. All right, this is uh, basically a calculator, as you can see. It's in Windows 6 applications, d -sharp. And um, here is the code of, uh, all right. Here uh, are some methods that I've made, divide, addition, subtract, and multiply. These are the uh, methods that I'll be using later. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I've got all these buttons from 1 to 9 and 0. These buttons, all they do is add their text to the reserve text box. Mm -hmm. Then I've got these buttons, divide, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, and they add their signs to the reserve text box. I've got a label named label 1. It's hidden when you run the program, and all uh, it's used for uh, to me to decide when I'll be using which operator and when I'll be. Okay. Here is a very interesting thing. It's uh, a button called on and off. It's um, when it's like when you turn on uh, the computer, uh, the, when you turn on the calculator, there's a small text box, the status text box. It contains on when you turn uh, when you run the program, and uh, when you click the on/off button, it turns off and all the buttons are disabled. Uh -huh. Well, I tell you what, rather than talk about it, should we actually should we run the program? Yeah, sure, and, I'll show and you. See that? Okay. All right, this is the calculator. I was telling you about this button. So as you can see, on here, on, and then you press this button, it would be off and all these buttons will be disabled. And then you press on again, it will be on again. All right, I'll show a little bit of division yeah, to you. Just, just test it. Yeah, it's like, it works. you press equal to, and it'll okay. give you the answer. Okay, very good, very <laughs> good. So, So this is very nice. And have you finished the application? Uh, no, not quite. I haven't finished with it yet. I have to put some comments in the code, and uh, I have to. <laughs> and, uh, I have to customize it as well. So I'll make it unique, other than those other calculations that are present already. So I'll add some background, some pictures, and some colors, and. I'll change the alignment of the buttons as well to make it unique. Okay, well I think we can find you some interesting sessions here at TechEd this yeah. week. So maybe a bit of Windows Presentation Foundation and a 3D yeah. effect or two. Oh, I'll be looking okay. forward to that. Okay, well, well, right. uh, we will work on that. Okay. Indeed. So, I think uh, you'll agree this is uh, a very inspiring story indeed. So, Arthur, I would like to thank you very much for coming and joining us this morning. Enjoy the rest of the session. Thank you. Thanks.